Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn about pipe and compose function in functional programming, what they are, why they are used and how we can implement them. So the idea behind pipe and compose function is to execute more than one function in a given order and pass the result of one function to the next function. So let's understand this with an example. So let's say we have these three functions with us, add to, subtract one and multiply ten. What we want to do is pass a number to add to and it will add 2 to that number and return us the output. Then the return output, the output returned by add 2, we want to pass it to subtract 1, which will subtract 1 from it. Then the result returned by subtract 1, we want to pass it to multiply 10, which will multiply it by 10 and return us the final result. So it will look something like this. So let's say the number which we are passing is 5, we are passing 5 to add 2, what it will do is add 2 to it, so it will become 7, then the result which is 7 will be written by add 2 and then it will be passed to subtract 1 as a parameter. So 7 will be passed to subtract 1, it will subtract 1 from it and return 6 to us, then the output returns 6 will be passed to multiply by 10 as a parameter. So then multiply by 10 will multiply 6 into 10 which is 60 and return us the final result. So here if I just console.log the result, so if we go to the console we will see yes the output is 60. As you can see it looks a bit ugly. We are passing the value return by one function to another function and so on and then console logging the final result. Using function composition we can write this whole thing in a better way. Let's see how. So let's start with compose first. So as you can see right now the execution is from right to left. First add function executes then subtract and then multiply by 10. So we are going from inward to outward from inside to outside. So the direction of execution is from right to left. Let's see what will it look like. So we'll write const result or let's rename it to new result and we'll and we'll create this compose function soon and it will take uh, a number of functions let's say uh, in the similar order which we had so at last we'll have multiply by 2 then subtract 1 then add 2 and it will also return us a function to which we will provide the initial value as 5 so it will look something like this it will execute from right to left first add 2 will be called then subtract 1 and then multiply by 5 first this value 5 will be provided to add 2 output return from add 2 will be provided to subtract 1 output return from subtract 1 will be provided to multiply by 10 and the final result will be stored in new res so let's see how we can create this compose function so let's write a compose function we'll write const compose will be a function which will take uh, a number of functions as a parameter and one thing we know about this function is it will return us another function which will take a value as a parameter. So inside this function what we, what we want to do we want to traverse this list of functions all these functions we have from right to left. So for that what I'll write is functions dot reduce right. Reduce right is a function to it is very similar to reduce but instead of traversing the elements from left to right it traverse it from right to left which we which is what we want in this case. We want to traverse it from right to left from out inward to outward. So similar to reduce it will take a callback function which will have accumulator and a current value for accumulator I will call it as previous and uh, for the current value which will be the current function I will call it as fn and what I want to do I want to pass this accumulated value to the current function and also the initial value so initial value will be this val which is provided to this function which we are returning. So what we are doing here is looping through all these function 
so in this fn one by one all these function will come starting from add two then to subtract one then to multiply by 10 and initial value val here is five okay so we are traversing it and uh, one by one we are passing the output or the value to the current function which is in fn and also we want to return this reduced value let's try to console.log this new result console.log new res which will contain the value returned to us by our compose compose function and let's see if it is the same value which is returned previously so yeah if we go to the console we'll see that we are getting the same result now this whole compose function can be written like this as well so it is exactly the same the only difference is instead of writing this function and then return function we are using the arrow function syntax here so it's almost so it's exactly the same here we are taking a number of functions then we are returning another function which is taking value as a parameter then we are looping through all of these function one by one using the reduce write method and one by one all these functions will come inside the fn variable and then and then we are calling the fn variable passing the previous value which is the accumulated value and initial value which we have provided is val which is this 5 now let's see what pipe function is so pipe is exactly same as compose so let me rename it to pipe and the only difference between pipe and compose is the direction of execution or the order of execution so instead of executing the function from right to left it travels from left to right that means first this value 5 will be passed to multiply by 10 then subtract 1 then to add 2 and then the final result will be returned so instead of using reduce right here we'll be using reduce so that's the only difference between compose and pipe so just to check that we are getting the same results let's try to change this so initially we'll call multiply by 5 subtract 1 will be same and then at the end we'll be calling add 2 let's see the output is same or not so if we save this and go to the console yes both of them return 51 so let's just quickly see one more interesting scenario let's say right now all these functions were taking a single argument like x x x only one single argument what if in case there were more than one arguments so let's say there is a function called divide and uh, it takes two parameters a comma b and it return us b divided by a now what will happen in this case if i just pass divide here simply then let's see what will happen so if we go to the console refresh you'll see not a number nan why because divide only got one argument and it expected two of them so what should we do in this particular case so what we can do instead of writing divide just like this we can write it something like this function and then here it will be ex expecting an argument well let's call it x and what it will do is return divide and then here we'll pass the value 2 comma x so here our a will be 2 and our b will be the value passed to it here which is 5 so if it's looking tricky to understand let me just cut it from here and write it above here and format it a bit and let me just quickly give it a name let's say divide 2 and instead of using divide i'll call it divide 2 here so what we are doing here instead of directly calling divide here which is expecting two arguments i have carried it let's just quickly wrap it up what we have learned up to now so compose and pipe are used in functional programming and the idea behind using them is to execute more than a single function and in a given order and pass the output return from one function to another function and finally return the final result and the only difference between compose and pipe 
is the order of execution. In compose, the functions are, the functions are executed from right to left. So if this was compose, first divide 2 will be called, then add 2, then subtract 1, then multiply by 10. But in case of pipe, the execution of function is from left to right. So first multiply by 10 will be called, then subtract 1, then add 2, and then divide 2. And by the way, one more thing, Lodash also provide us the similar functions if we want to uh, implement the same thing. So the name of these functions are flow and flow right. Flow right is used for compose and flow is used for pipe. So basically it's the same thing. If we see the example, we have declared one function square and uh, we are calling the flow method, which is equivalent to the pipe function. And we are passing it two methods, add and square. And then we are calling this add square method, passing it these two values, one comma two. So what will happen? This one comma two values will be passed to add, which will return us three. And then that three will be passed to square, which will return us the square of that number, which is nine. So the output is nine. And in case of right, it's the same thing, but instead of executing it from left to right, this time the execution of functions will be from right to left. So this time, First, they have passed these value to square, so 1 into 2. So in this case, they have changed the sequence of these functions. Previously, the square function was at second place and the square add function was at first. But in flow right, they have switched the position. So first, the 1 and 2, so the execution will start from right to left. First, this 1 and 2 will be passed to add, which will return us 3. And then 3 will be passed to square, which will return us 9. So what we did, we can say is we kind of implemented the polyfill for flow and flow right. So this is what compose and pipe functions are and how we can implement them. The link to the code will be available in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.